hello guys it's time we talk about nba forest trade once again so this is nba forest trade right here uh, if you check it out or from the name alone you will know they are into forex trading okay so this is a form of forex investment for those that doesn't know they are into forex trading so i presume this is the ceo maxwell welly Adam. i don't know the right pronunciation so these guys started a company they trade the financial market they trade the forex and all of that and they give you return on investment okay around 15 percent return on investment every single month and the lowest you can invest with these guys is one thousand dollars so as at the time they started this i think that's around three hundred and sixty five thousand era that is the minimum investment you can do with them okay so as time goes by they were paying this for some time i don't know how long they've been in existence and how long they've been paying but there are a lot of false uh, statements online saying they've been there for two years they've been there for more than two years and all of that but all of that cannot be justified because we can't see a single person to testify that he has been with them for two years and show payment for two years with them so all of that cannot be justified now nba forex has not been paying since october 2020 okay october they didn't pay november they didn't pay december they didn't pay january they didn't pay and this is february okay last about four months they've not been paying and trust me those that invested with them are not taking this easy at all because oftentimes they come to my inbox and come to ask for suggestion what they can do and all of that so many people go as far as regretting that they didn't follow my advice because if you check my youtube channel i created so many so many videos and then check on mbs forex and you will see so many videos i've created on them in time past okay so i created this one about one month ago and so many others so i created this one seven months ago with eight thousand views and so many other videos i've created speaking about mba trade and why people need to be very vigilant before investing into it okay now the sec went as far as listing them as one of the investments that is ponzi schemes that people need to stay away from but everybody wants quick return so people are still doing this until it stops paying so let's see what the reaction has a uh, direction going on on the internet and i know someone personally someone personally i'm related to that got scammed in this okay i wasn't notified before the person went into it and the person now is losing up to eight million naira into this investment a whole eight million naira that's a whole lot of money right so let's go into uh, the first article i have here from the port city news okay i guess this blog is from portal called the port city news i'm going to take a link of this blog and put it in the description below so you can read this article okay so it says in another heartbreaking december for ponzi scheme lovers reminiscent of that of 2016 mmm crash the nba forest trading company has allegedly crashed few days to christmas holidays leaving investors with losers running into hundreds of millions Hundreds of those who invested in the skin have besieged the company's office in Port Harcourt and worry to demand for their money back, with the company making empty promises and blaming banks for their woes. Many investors who spoke to the Port City News said that despite making investments in millions, the company failed to live up to the promises it made. The scheme allows investors to invest a minimum of 350000 with a promise of 15 percent return on investment each month for six months however a financial advisor jude unwanary told port city news that the return on investment is not feasible adding that no legitimate financial investment company in the world gives 15 percent as return in a month except ponzi schemes he explained that any investment scheme that promises 180 percent return per month per annum or simple interest or 435% on compound interest is not feasible. Any investor, an investor, Ayogo Fidelis said, despite investing 1 million in the scheme, the company has not made returns to his to him since December since, since October 2020, 2020, okay? And invest I invested in August. I've only been paid twice. First, they claim that there was a glitch following their alleged migration to a new platform now they are blaming the banks and the central bank for their inability to pay they have also refused to refund the initial money this is festive period and i need money to celebrate with my family another investor who pleaded anonymity said he is retired staff of shell 
and invested 2.5 million in the scheme but was only paid once the visibly agitated retiree said he spent extra money attending training unorganized by the company adding that he has spent over 3 million on the process he urged the company to refund him his initial investment as he as he has his family's need to cater for they made promises that this is a sustainable investment i invested they paid only once then in november they made selective payment to some persons and are now telling us to have patience we are now learning that the scheme has crashed we have families to feed they should return the initial deposit we made and minus the months they paid us from it so we can feed our families attempt to speak to the chief executive officer managing director of mba forex maxwell Odom proved abortive Odom had in june, in june 2018 at lecture in portaco reviewed that youth could achieve financial freedom through forex exchange if they are taught how to trade in it explaining further he said that forex exchange was a global market and that had existed for years but controlled by the world bank noting that the market noting that the market was all about buying and selling of the various world currencies based on their changing rates at any given time. Odomo said, said he learned how to trade in Forex while abroad, revealed that he has achieved financial freedom through it, hence his decision to speak to spread the knowledge here in River State to help his people, as a result of which he started the MBA Forex Institute. He said to impart forest knowledge to his people, he had given scholarship to youth of the state, some who he said we are now doing financially okay so that's all of that i don't want to bore you out with the, all of the stories okay so i kept on saying it okay i kept on uh, hammering the point that these people are not registered with the right authorities okay the right agency for you to run any capital market and give people return on investment and all of that you must be registered with the sec okay that is security and exchange commission the sec you must be registered with them i kept on saying this that these guys are not registered but many people come to my inbox and drop all sorts of silly comments saying i'm not being realistic the bank doesn't pay and all of this nothing works in nigeria now i'm against this i'm not against anybody okay this is trying to be very careful when putting your money into any platform at all that was what i kept on hammering on that time but nobody wants to take me for my word nobody wants to believe and this is how ugly things has become so since october many people have not been paid and people have lost millions into this scheme now what they are saying is people should calm down they are going to come up with a way they are going to come back again this also happened to box value if you know of box value forex investment okay they lied three times first was that they said close their office all of their offices in nigeria second they came up with another thing that someone stole their data they thought they came up with another excuse again and they went away with millions of money now if you are invested into mba forest right now you don't have to wait for them to come through okay because the odd of them coming through and reinstating everything and keep on paying normally is near zero okay that is the odd you are facing near zero so what i advise you to do right now is start filing for petition okay start suing them to court whichever the the ceo is his name picture and everything take it make a formal report as police station or contact your lawyer and your, your legal practitioner and start suing these people so they can declare they wanted as soon as possible and get them arrested and so you can get your money if you give them time and the lockdown is over they might just jet out to other countries and that will be the end of the story okay nobody's going to look after it for you so the best thing you can do right now is to start claiming your money back start fighting for your money because you made a very bad investment you didn't verify your, your facts okay the figures you didn't know if they're actually trading the the the, uh, the coin you don't know how much the company is worth okay you don't know if they have any liquidity for stuff like this, just in case things go wrong they'll be able to pay you from what they have okay you don't know if they are insured they are not registered with any good agencies the only registration they had was with cac and cac is just a name reservation okay i can go there and register slow reviews today and they will reserve the name for me that doesn't mean that they will hold me accountable if anything go wrong okay that is not their job their job is to, just to assign them for you so don't get food whenever you see a company registering with cac many companies have registered with cac in time past and they also crash okay so it's time we we make wise decision whenever it comes to investment so let's go to twitter and see what people are saying about it okay so this guy said on february says i want some people about mba forest they didn't listen okay so this guy is replying those fools hold my money there or more investing in jail at large just they risky 
okay so they are complaining about banks and all of that so let's move down again and other cryptocurrency first they went after mb okay uh first if it is cbn then it is political i just want to let you know that federal ba federal government banks and cbn don't like anything that would give the average nigerian financial boost they would most likely to kill it the same they succeeded in killing mba forex now this is very very unreasonable coming from uh, a guy on twitter because they believe uh, whichever thing that's bringing money the government is going to move against it no the government is protecting the people you have to invest in a good in a good or uh, a company okay anywhere so it's not about federal government of nigeria alone go to usc if you are going to start a company and start taking money from people and giving them returns then you must be duly registered else you can be sued and jailed for it alone just attempting it alone you can be jailed so that's how hard it is in other countries not to talk of running it in nigeria then the government is only warning those people that are putting their money in that this is risky oh, this is risky now the government of nigeria should have made a kind of provision whereby if anybody reports an investment ongoing the government are going to request those founder to tender us all, all reasonable or certification they have to further with that kind of investment if they are unable to pro provide it then they should be jailed or they should stop them from doing that investment that's what they should have done because mba forex is not registered with the sec they are not insured you don't have good liquidity because all of that are not justifiable they are not proven but they are operating and the government is looking at them so the government is not against anybody no not for making money okay if they are trying to regulate it or trying to know what it is that is their job okay so this is very very unreasonable and it's not business like so i saw a tweet also that uh the director or something like that retired and this is the post right here according to the report mrs vodina west west attended her resignation letter and would be relieved of her role and position at mb you can see that the officers are resigning already so you know that this is getting very very serious so the letter was written on 1st february 2020 i think this thing is tampered with it should be 2021 or so so the chairman managing director mba trading and capital investment and all of that the address at we say to abuja notice of resignation from the office of director okay so she applied so she wants to she want to resign and she don't want to be part of the company any longer so you can see there's trouble in paradise so there's a lot of posts on that there was a lot of posts on that if you check online for it and so many people are saying a lot about this so this under post saying it seems that mba forex is down a court process has surfaced showing that showing that a winding up petition has been filed by one of the customers whom mba defrauded the sum of 10 million naira with the said interest which invested in their investment scheme there are rumors that okay so this is the petition right okay so people are suing them to cut away that is your best bet right now before they disappear and leave the country okay if they just if they just move to ghana if the owner just travel to ghana down there you won't be able to find anything about him again that is nigeria for you because the, the agency won't follow up to to get them arrested or anything okay so next time if you are investing if they are not registered with the proper agency then only risk money that you can afford to lose not 10 million naira. of course you can risk 10 million if you have a lot of money laying bare in your account and you have nothing to do with it okay so only invest with money that you can afford to lose it is as simple as that so right now mba forex trading is not saying anything no plan of returning back anytime soon they are going to work on something okay and that is not going to be way out when for uh, uh, mmm first crash they work on something they came back again people lose more when box value also first crash they worked on something they came back people lose more and even the third time people lose more money okay so it's time you invest wise in this 2021 okay i just pity those that went into retirement and pour all of their gratuity and pension into it okay because it's going to make their life so so miserable i'm sorry about that but you guys need to make good findings before you invest into any online okay be it nigeria or abroad before you invest your money make sure you look into it don't look at the bait alone if they are fishing with the bait look at the catch what are they going to gain look at where things can go wrong don't stay positive always if you are going into a business don't stay positive okay check the negativity check the negative aspect of it check where things are, can go wrong i have a backup plan that if things actually go wrong how am i going to survive okay how am i, am I going to come back on top 
that is the plan you should be having for yourself before you invest a dime into any business thank you guys for staying true to the end of this video if you find this video very informative and very educating then try to subscribe to this channel because more videos will be coming your way here we review business and investment opportunity we let you know if it is legitimate or not and we also teach you how you can make money online that is all we do thank you guys and bye for now